Hello everybody, this is Baskur back again with another episode of Banished. I'm thinking this is episode 17 maybe? This is all happening in one uh, recording session, so I'm not 100% positive. So in the last episode we left off with um, everybody starving and um, still running out of tools extremely badly. Um, I accepted 22 nomads to try to offset the um, worker shortage um, so that we could actually, hopefully, um, get some food production up and going and you can see we do have 33 or 331 food um, I'm not a hundred percent certain if we're gonna be able to fix this problem or not um, but what I'm going to do is um, put this on a time-lapse um, just try to do some things to try to take care of this problem and we will um, see what we can do and there's probably going to be some cuts in this episode in between times just to get it to fit down into a particular area without it running so fast that I um, mess with people's heads so badly so um, be prepared for that and um, anyways yeah wish me luck and let's see what we can do here Okay guys, we got a trader, so I'm turning off the time lapse, hopefully right at this area. Um, and you can see I closed a couple of windows, I just kind of wanted to get some more screen real estate so that I could see what was going on and I couldn't collapse those particular windows. Um, the good news is, is uh, this trader does have some food. I'm not 100% certain we can eat barley, but we're going to buy it anyways. We're definitely going to take his bread, um, we're going to take all the barley and we're going to take all the flour assuming I got enough stuff to buy this. It's hard to say because we are out of just about everything, so I'm not 100% certain. Yeah, we should be able to do this. Hey guys, I'm back again here real quick. I just wanted to um, show a quick little update. There was probably a lot of cuts on there because there was a lot of not anything going on, just me letting her run it on ten times, telling them to gather food and things like that. But um, a couple of things did happen. Um, you might be able to see we do have a fishing dock up and going. Um, I don't think I had that up and going in the last little time lapse there. Um, and um, we got um, some more nomads, which was kind of nice. Um, so we're actually at a deficit on our homes here. <laughs> we actually have tons of them. There was, I don't remember exactly how many nomads there was there. I wish I wouldn't have cut that out. Let's see, I'd actually, so here's how, so what I'm doing is playing it, and then the videos are getting quite large, so I'm having to um, actually stop recording and then start recording again and then merge the video clips together. And um, yeah, so anyways, um, we don't have that in the image, but anyways, we do have a ton of nomads that came in. Um, and we accepted them. Whether or not that was a good idea or a bad idea, I'm really not sure yet. Um, we'll find out. It did give us a huge influx in laborers. Um, that's good. Um, go ahead and expand this back down, too. I got 30 laborers, no builders doing anything. I think all of my professions have people. No, I don't have anybody at this logging station. We got plenty of people to do that now, so let's do that. Oh, so that's too many. Um, 
our little fishery down here. He's not doing tons of work yet, but he's still pretty new, so we'll let him sit there and do some things. Um, I think that was about three years worth of um, time lapse that I did running. Um, let's see, I didn't leave it on ten times for too long. Um, that, that was getting a little bit much. Um, let's see, we are... Go ahead and fix our apiaries here, get them some more. Um, one thing you'll notice, I have some more livestock, so we had another trader come through. He had some food, so I bought all the food he had. Um, and then... Um, not long after we had another trader come through and this one had sheep I didn't really want sheep but I went ahead and bought the sheep um, we needed the sheep uh, hopefully that'll get us some food production he just left so we haven't actually seen anything from that yet but um, I, have sh I have sheep there sheep there I was actually down to 10 sheep on this one too he had, I believe he had 12 sheep total um, and I took them all um, and that also put a major dent in our firewood because I had to increase the amount of firewood we were collecting over here to actually pay for them. And let's see. Um, yeah, I mean, I think that's about it at the moment. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to go back to a time lapse and um, stick around and we'll see some more. Okay guys, I'm back again. I'm um, going to finish this episode out. Um, we've stabilized a little bit. We haven't had anybody star uh, dying of starvation again. However, this number is trickling down extremely slowly. Um, uh, or extremely fast, rather. Um, it's going back up right now, so we're getting some food production from some place. Um, things that I've done, just to kind of show you what's going on. Um, we still have a lot of people that are homeless, so I'm trying to get in some homes. This is a result of all the nomads that I accepted. Um, I haven't had any more traders just yet, unfortunately, because I could really use another increase in food. We are producing quite a bit of fish um, from this new dock, so that's good. I've increased my production back up on this fishery here, too. He's not producing a ton yet, but... He was down to two, I think, so that's probably why there. Um, there may be a problem with some overlap, too. I've heard, again, mixed things about whether or not, you know, having an overlap would overfish, but I don't think so, and even if it was, it's such a tiny overlap that I don't think in this case it would matter. Um, we have um, the school turned back on, so I have four students in there again. I thought might as well try to get some of these educated. I think we're sitting at like 48% educated. Yeah, 48% educated. 67% clothed. We are running really low on clothes again. Um, and we're out of leather, apparently. Do we have any cloth? Our wool, we do have some wool again, so let's switch him back over to wool. And do we have feathers? Could we be making stuff out of feathers and reeds again? Uh, we do have some feathers, so after the wool runs out, if we still don't have leather, we're going to do that. Um, no more nomads, unfortunately. I'd probably actually take them. We have 42 homes right now, so that's good. We're sitting just about where we need to be. Wait, if we have 42 homes, 42 families, then why do we have seven homeless people? a ton of people sitting in the boarding house so I think we need to get some more homes built. There's definitely an issue there. I'm not sure why that number's showing up weird. Um, food... Um, we're still using more than we produce. Um, this year we haven't, but we're getting really close. It's going to be up there before too long. Um, 
This guy is making frog legs. He's got 204 frog legs. That's good. This guy... I had switching back over clay for a very brief time, but I was trying to get stuff from those traders that I had. Um, so these guys, from a food perspective, they're not producing as much as I'd like, but they are producing some, so I'm going to leave them be for now. He's still producing about 160. That must be the max amount of ducks I can catch in a year. Um, we're doing really good on our gatherers huts. They're getting stuff good. Um, Hunter, I'm going to pump him back up to four. I took him down at one point in time. Um, 760 duck meat, 160 venison, so we're doing decent there. Um, our forester is making logs, that's good. There's a guy there, I've been having to manually collect stuff for the logs already. Um, I built another apiary, it just got finished, we're gonna pump that up. And that'll get us more beeswax to make candles. Um, looks like we lost our candler back in the starvation event. Let's pump him back up. Um, we have plenty of tools, but they're going to drop again quickly, I'm sure. And yeah, anyways, I do believe that is going to be the end of this episode. I haven't really done anything more other than telling them to collect food, um, telling them to collect trees and uh, stone and that kind of stuff. And that's about it. I got a barn that is going to get built at some point in time. I don't know when yet, um, but we'll turn him back on at some point. Um, assuming I can actually click on it again. Uh, you have a hard time clicking on the stuff in the water to offset from where it looks like it's at. Um, just real quick, how's this one doing? He's doing okay. Yeah, I just pumped him back up right before I uh, came out of the time lapse there. And yeah, so anyways, um, that's going to do it for this episode. Hopefully we're not going to die. It looks like maybe I got some stuff stabilized. We had, a, like I said, those nomads and the traders certainly helped. Um, hopefully we can get some more traders in, get this food situation looked at some more. Hopefully these extra sheep will help. Um, and uh, yeah, we still got a long road ahead of us, I'm afraid. I don't think we're going to be stable for long. Um, so hopefully we won't have another mass starvation event here, but um, tune in next time and we'll see what happens. Um, if you liked what you're seeing, click the like button. If you don't like what you're seeing, click that dislike button. And if you did like what you're seeing, click the subscribe button. And I hope to see you back again next time for another episode of Banished.